Laura Dyer, welcome to another episode of This Is Servants. We're at the Welsh Institute of Sport here in Cardiff. They've been very kind to let us use the gym to show you guys an upper body gym session. This is a go-to upper body session for me and I think it's pretty standard across the board and a lot of rugby teams will use something similar. When we train for rugby, we look to use compound lifts, which use more than one muscle group at a time. When you think of the stresses during a game of rugby, having these muscle groups work together is gonna to be a massive benefit. You don't need to be massive in the upper body to play rugby, but having that extra strength will definitely help with things like the impacts. So for the warm up, we have two sets of four exercises. The first is a renegade row, and you'd need two fairly light dumbbells. You're essentially gonna do a press up and then a single arm row on each side for one rep. The second is neck band holds, which are really useful when you're playing a contact sport. So get a heavy band and we're trying to resist it in four different directions. Try and keep everything fairly neutral with your chin tucked in. The third is TRX face pulls to get the shoulders warmed up. The fourth is band dislocations with a red band, working through a comfortable range of movement. Quick disclaimer, please use this session as a guide. If you need help with technique, then contact a professional, either a PT or someone similarly qualified, wherever you gym. Also, start with a manageable weight. You can increase as you go through the weeks. You don't need to be a hero straight from the start. Moving on to our first superset, we've got bench press with weighted chins, and it's very common to combine these push and pull exercises like we're doing here. The aim is to build up to four heavy sets on each exercise, and I'd normally do at least two warm up sets on the bench press. Because it's a superset, once you finish the bench, go straight into the chins and then rest. In terms of rest, I have a two minute clock, which I start once I finish my chins. When this is up, I go into my next set. So we don't have a weight belt here, so this is how I like to improvise for weighted chins. So if you can't do weighted chins, then do them body weight, and if you can't do them body weight, then use a band. Filming the whole time, bro. You filming now? Yeah. Please have spotters in the gym when I'm doing the bench. If anything goes wrong, Dai is ready to drop the camera and jump in there for me. So the worst thing you can do is compare yourself to what other people are doing in the gym. Start at square one for you and gradually build up over weeks and months. I find it really useful to write down those small improvements, whether it's one or two kilograms, and you can see that improvement over the months. So we're on to our second superset. This is gonna be incline bench press with bent over row. No need for warm up sets here, we can get straight into it. We never use a massive incline when we're doing bench press. I also use two minutes rest in between these sets. Rock, rock, rock down. 
One thing to note when performing the rows, in the fitness industry people get very uptight about the spine or the core being very rigid when you perform these exercises. When you're playing rugby this is like never the case, your spine's never in a rigid position but there's lots of twists and turns. So when you're doing a row a little bit of rotation is okay, we don't want to see us massively twisting but also don't worry completely about being locked in as the weight goes up. Right, moving on to the shoulders, they take a lot of impact in games of rugby, so they have their own superset. The first exercise is a slightly modified Arnie press. We're going to take the dumbbells from in front of our face and twist and push them up above our head. This simulates that feeling of lifting in a pod or a line out. The second exercise is a loo raise with small kettlebells or dumbbells, and we're looking for control throughout the range of movement. The third exercise is a face pull. You can either do this with a cable or with a band. And once you've done one set of the exercises, I normally rest for about a minute. So to finish off the main bulk of this session, we've got a little ab circuit with front and side planks. We're doing the planks, we're roughly trying to keep everything in straight lines. If you need to, you can take time off, add more time or even add weights to the planks. In sevens, it's really useful to have a strong core to help with the demand of that high running volume. So at the end of the main bulk of the session, we always do some prehab. If you haven't come across this before, the general idea is trying to strengthen your weaknesses so that they don't turn into injuries. At the moment, I've been working on some shoulder rehab. Finally, if you have time and you want to, then we can chuck in some beach weights. So I'll pick any bicep or tricep exercises. We normally go for three sets of 10 reps. Cool. Nice. And that's it, an upper body session that we do as professional sevens players. If you have a go at it, let us know in the comments below. We're hoping to get our website up and running soon and we'll put this session as a PDF that you can download for free on there. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like and if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. Dioch and